Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube video of mine. Thank you. I hope you all safe and well. Today the video is carrying on with our project. If you've not watched that, please click the link below and go and watch the first two episodes. We're on the Audi A3 Black Edition. Taking out the engine, we did a timing chain. And now we're going to be prepping up the engine ready to put the engine back into the vehicle. So we've did in the previous episode, we swapped the timing chain cover out the timing chain and the tensioner and the guide rail. So what we're going to do before we put it back in, we're going to be swapping out a few bits, a few um, little oil leaks that I noticed that I'm going to show you guys. And basically this engine that I got come out of a manual gearbox. So I've not be, I'm not going to be able to show you me putting in the gearbox or the clutch because I didn't have nobody to hold the camera for me. And it was a very heavy gearbox the uh, S-Tronics are and they call the DSG on the VW so I've not been able to carry that out but I could show you what the difference is between an automatic and a manual gearbox With a manual gearbox, you don't have this gearbox cooler. The, the diagram that I'm going to be showing you guys, how it runs through the whole watering system. With a manual, it doesn't have this cooler. It just has this line going into the flange and one running off back into the rest of the cooling system that goes into the water pump electronic thermostat. So with this one here, it's the same sort of principle with this wiring that goes back into the bulkhead. However, on this one here, if you see this, one runs off the main wire that goes there. And then this wire here, this piping here got replaced because it's got a T-junction here and it runs back into the intercooler. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna be touching anything to do with the, the flap or the intake or anything everything looks good i'm going to be taking off these pipe just cleaning out any excess oil or anything and basically we're going to be trying not to touch nothing because once you start touching stuff you need to swap a lot of seal so if it's not bad we just leave it this gearbox is an automatic gearbox and the starter motor is different to the one on the manual so we've swapped out this gearbox, put the correct automatic one in, swap the wiring. Stay right there guys, I'm getting it ready to put back into the vehicle.
So we prep this up ready now. These three go into the engine mount. I put all the wiring back. We've done the timing chain, put the seal back in, put that seal back in the cover. I've not touched anything here, guys. It's like once you open the, this up, you're going to need injectors, sealed, and everything. Um, I don't need to do none of that because it seemed all fine. And basically, before we put it all in, I'll just check all the gaskets are in place. All of these little clips are here. So that goes back into the bulkhead. All the gearboxes on, the starter motor, the wiring. Put all of these sort of things back in the plate, back into its place. So this is the proper way to do, put an engine back in so you could prep everything, prep everything properly on the floor here and you could replace everything, it's easier and <coughs> it's way easier, put the engine back in as well, saves you a lot of time unlike other videos where I've seen where they take off this manifold on the car just to get it all out and um, that alone by the time they take that off we could pull out the engine maybe even halfway put it back in but that's my way anyway and people in uk this is how they do it and there's a quick tip here before before we put it in i've taken off this connector if you have a look I'm not broken it it's easier you could just slide it from this side till you hear it clip and it swing out whereas if there was a record i've broken more than more of these in my time than a lot of people so good to, top tip this pull it out from this side slide it up and it'll come off because we need to build the pressure on the vehicle the oil pressure before we start it up but i'll show you that in the next video hey guys thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like and subscribe hit all the notification bells as well so i could bring you more videos please stay tuned i've got this engine all prepped up ready to put into the vehicle so on the next video i'll be doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to put this audi a3 ccz engine into the vehicle step-by-step -step. so please stay tuned thank you very much for watching take care and stay safe